Okay, guys, so welcome. You're here with the live recording and some people also that are participating. And what we're doing to start off is we're accessing our content module. It's called Capstone Project. And as mentioned inside of here, all right, we're gonna go ahead and review this zip package. So you have to download this zip package right now. So again, it's a you know 180 megabytes might take a minute or so. So again, please download this project zip package right here. Inside of it, you'll see that you have a spec document, a prof sample rebuild website. So we're gonna do that today during this session. We're gonna complete the tutorial and make it a from a tutorial to a finished homepage site. Remember, um, let's see, let's see. Oh, two, one. Hmm, let's see. Again, this won't, oh, yep, yeah, you're right, guys. So I have to make sure it's visible to you, so I apologize. So right there, week 13. Um, and for the Friday block, it should be called something similar, but won't be posted until tomorrow. But by the time you view this, um, it will be up. Okay, so everyone refresh their page. You should see that it's visible, and then it's just called Week 13 Capstone Project. And because it's live, it's going to be a bit choppy because there will be questions, you know, things like that. So just keep that in mind as you watch this video back. But yeah, we're going to complete the tutorial. Remember, we all have our own Photoshop design. So my sample site is only going to be there for inspiration to model the process of the conversion, the development of your design to development. Right now, today, you should rebuild my sample from tutorial to completion to give you an idea. And you might be thinking, well, I don't get it because my design looks different than yours. That's the point. We're no longer modeling every single step like we did with the poster. I'm just showcasing you how to do things like create internal pages, create assets, export assets, etc. And then you have to make sense of that yourself with your own design. So for the first time, you control some of the first step. Remember, all the different stages that we break them down or have been broken down are building the framework of like the house analogy, all right, first level element structure. And then once that house is complete or that first level element structure is finished, we move all our content into the house. Remember, it's like you package it up into boxes and you just move them into every section of the home or every section of your website. And then once you're done that second stage, moving day is a big deal, right? Then we unpackage everything and we put our interior design hats on and we style and position that. So for the first time, you are controlling all the stages. Usually I give you the framework, I give you the house, and then it's up to you to make any modifications to it that you like, put all your content inside of the rooms or the div level structures or element structures since we're using header, footer, nav, main now, um, and then obviously interior design hat style and positioning. So this time I'm gonna show you how to insert and style but you guys will have to have your own framework, or if you use mine, you have to edit it a little bit to suit your own needs based on your Photoshop document. All right, we'll also look at some student website samples. All right, again, for inspiration only, do not copy verbatim the actual code here. If you're gonna use some for inspiration, you better make it your own. And like I said, we're gonna complete the homepage tutorial. Then we'll have a Q&A session, which people watching can watch also, but. Obviously, if you're not in attendance, you won't be able to ask the questions at the time you rewatch this, but you can always email me or post the discussion forum. Uh, and then also final project video tutorials. So this recording of today's session will be posted here. And also you have the complete series for the internal pages. So I will not be doing an internal page session next week, but you have all of these videos to watch. So basically from now until next week, if you wanted to and you had the time, you could complete your homepage conversion and all of your internals all in one swoop because you'll have to, this video in today's session and the recording of it, plus the internal pages um, and it's everything you need. The entire project as I will also post and that you will find in your project zip package spec documents is due in uh, 13 days from today. So today's Thursday and you will make sure to submit it on, I believe it's the 28th of April at noon. All right, that's the absolute final date that I can do it. So hopefully it's downloaded for you right now, the project zip, and you've unzipped it, because we're gonna take a look at it. So looking at it right now, 
I have a lot of files open as you can see. So what I wanna do is first off, you have the actual capstone project complete package right here. Now you also wanna take a look at this, all right? So here is the sample site tutorial that we're gonna work on today. When I open it up, you're gonna see that I've already created the framework because this is all HTML, CSS. And if you wanna use this, you, you have to customize it to suit your needs. Why you might wanna use it is we all should have a header, we should all have a featured section, we should all have a main body, and we should all have a footer. Now, how each section is laid out in terms of the height, the amount of elements in each section is completely up to you, but it's a starting point. So you can either start from scratch, or you can utilize my file as a starting point for your website as well. But today we're gonna to turn this partially finished homepage, which is my sample, into the finished guy right over here. And that looks like this. Okay, remember, I do not want everyone changing your design so you can hand me in this. This is just a replica of the current online Porthole Fall Fair website done in a static manner to model for you how I went about it, not to answer every single question that you may have, because you will have to start problem solving and creative thinking uh, to make those you know, decisions and make the ground up yourself. So from here to here is what we're doing today. Then in the other video series, the internal ones down here, I take the completed version here, duplicate it three times so that I can model for you how to duplicate it and create the about, get involved and contact page. Remember what your internal pages are completely up to you. You can make them any topic you want based on something to do with the portal fall fair. So gallery, video, horse pull, livestock, pumpkin contest, you know, like smash up derby, Ferris wheel, you know, um, rides, fair rides, anything you want or can think of. Um, and no, you do not have to create an internal page for every single one of these guys. Once you have a home page and internal page, you just simply duplicate it and then come up with your own main body. Because remember, every page has a header and a footer and a main body. For the internals, you'll just get rid of whatever's in the middle section and replace it with some internal content. Subtopic, again, fall fair, uh, live shows, livestock, rides, pumpkin eating contests, you know, whatever it is. So let's go ahead and continue to look at what we have here. So that's the tutorial and the finish, which we're gonna to work towards today. Now you also have the spec documents here. So you have specs for the homepage. We'll refer to this today when we're completing our website. So the homepage is all about converting your portal fall comp from another class and creating the foundational framework or revising mine inserting the content and then styling and positioning. We'll do mine today, you'll have to do yours after. And here's all the checklists, right? So creation or customizing the foundational framework for your index page. Then adding content to the foundational framework and then styling and positioning it. The rubric is as follows, you get 2.5% for the framework, 2.5 for the insertion of content to make sure nothing's missing. And then the styling and positioning, you have five for a total of 10% for the home page, and 5% per each of the three internal pages equaling 15 for a total of 25. April 25th and 29th at noon is the final, 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 no exception deadline, since my marks are due a couple days after. So that's the last possible moment I've given you. Zip it up and post it to the Dropbox. That's for the home page, And then the internal pages, which we're not doing today by videos for, are all about converting your fall fair inter, uh, internal comp into a web page. You have one, and you're gonna have to create three of them, right? So duplicate your home page, set the actual main body of your framework to accept new content, and then insert the content into the main body of each page and then style and position it. All right, more on this during those videos that I'm gonna, you know, you can watch at your own leisure. And the rubrics right over here, so you have an idea of where your 15% will come from. And again, everything's due at once. There's not two separate submissions. It's just part one and two, 25% submitted anytime before and up to the 29th of April at noon, at noon. Okay, that's the absolute final deadline. So, so far, you know, you have the tutorial we're gonna complete today to turn it into the finished. We have the actual spec documents 
All right, once we complete the tutorial and turn it into the finished, all right, the tutorial will no longer look blank. That's why I've actually given you an extra framework that looks exactly like my tutorial. All right, just because you may want to use this optional framework for your website, but you have to customize it. So you have to customize it for your needs, or you can start from scratch and not utilize this. But that is what this file is for. So optional use only. If you want to start where I'm starting, great, but you have to optimize the framework to suit your style. All right, or you can start from scratch. Um, so those are the first three folders, one, two, three, with the spec documents. And before I look at the student samples, I'm gonna answer or look at my chat because someone asked something. So uh, in digital illustration, we created a portal file fair comp as an assignment. Do we have to replicate that into this assignment? Yes, that's the whole idea. So you don't have to spend time creating the comp in this class. We've created the comp and developed it for uh, every project, but this one, it might seem like it's worth the most, but it, it, it takes the shortest amount of time to complete. But that's because I have all the videos for you already for the development side, and you've already spent three weeks or more on the design aspect uh, from your other class. Um, if you want to change your comp from your other class, you, I don't want you to do the following. I don't want everyone to change your comps so that they look exactly like my sample site. So suddenly they're like, you know what, I'm just gonna ironically change my website to look like this, and then I'm just gonna do this and submit Dan's sample site with some slight changes. You will get a very poor mark if you do that. But if you have your comp and you wanna change some things because you've got feedback or you understand the development side of a little bit, you absolutely can change the design from your other class to optimize or polish it or make it better uh, if you want to. Um, yes, you had two pages in digital illustration, but you have to create an, a home page and three internal pages for this project. Why does that make sense? Because an internal page models what an internal page will look like, and then you can use that as a replica. You don't actually need to flesh out the second and third and fourth pages after you have a replica of one, right? As soon as you come up with a model for a car, you then use that blueprint to churn out a million different cars. Those cars can have a different color interior, they can have different features, right? But they are all pretty well the same shell. So same thing with a website. The home page is one thing. It has a bunch of teasers with a header and a footer. And the internal page is a header footer with the main section empty and then simply refilled with different content. So just because you don't have a completed composite with what content you wanna put in the middle, doesn't prevent you from doing it on a napkin. Maybe if you want to do a couple other comps, you can, or just doing it in your head, using your imagination to be like, okay, I think I'm gonna insert this content in the main body and I'm gonna do it this way. And if you feel like, again, you need to sketch it out on a piece of paper first, you can, but you don't need to do a full-blown composite for it. So I hope that answers your question. It was a very good one because I know some other people are gonna be thinking about that as well. All right, so that is a broad look at where we are and where we're headed. So we will finish these two. You could use this one for your own if you like, uh, but do edit it. Please follow along with me today on mine. There are the spec documents for everything you need. And now I'm gonna look at some of the student samples. I've given you an abundance of samples here. I do not want you just to copy one of this and replicate it, all right? Because they are slightly different from each other and I will know. Uh, but again, it allows you to look at the thought process of some high quality websites from the past year or two, so it can inform where you guys are, all right? I have a different order, so you can look at all of these on your own time. You not only have the HTML homepage and all the internal pages, but you also have, in many cases, the Photoshop file to look at, et cetera, all right? So these are some of the top examples. And I'm gonna show you some of them right now, okay? The, my samples don't coincide perfectly with these. You will see all of these, but I actually have 14 different samples to show you. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. So the home page, starting with this one, okay? So I'll look at the home page and the internals to give you a good review. So you can tell that it's similar but different than mine. Okay, and it has their own logo, looks nice, has a navigation, 
All right, has a featured image section. If you wanted to do it a slideshow, you can, but I'm not making it mandatory. So I know you were told that you needed three images in the Photoshop class. That's fine. If you want to do an animated slideshow, I'll show you how to do it, but you don't have to. All right, so celebrations right here, schedule of events, volunteers, notice quick links, all right, and then a footer at the bottom also. Let me just move this out of the way. Okay, so what I want you to pay attention to is all of these are similar but different. They all have Portal content relevant or relevant content to the Portal Fall Fair, but they're done in little bit different ways than the others. That means when you look at mine and you think there's just no other way to do it, that's just a lack of imagination and creativity and maybe a little bit of fear because you haven't done it a lot before, which is totally understandable, but you've got to fight and push through that to try to come up with something a little different. By venturing out on your own path, no one's asking you to re recreate a website that no one's ever seen before, you know, but again, you want to change things up a little bit. And it's all your combination of heading, subheading, paragraph, image, list, link, table, et cetera, all right? So any combination of that in slightly different orders creates something new. And you can see that here. And then the internal pages, I might as well model for you a little bit too. So this is what I mean. You have a home page, and then once you have one internal page, you go, okay, well, everything's pretty well the same in this case. They change the content here. They change the content in here, and the footer and header stay exactly the same. All right, then you get to the get involved section. They got rid of the featured image. Perfectly kosher if that's what they want to do. They added an ad banner, which you guys have to have. Doesn't matter what size or shape, as long as it's somewhere. And then again, really nice variety. They added a, a, a table here for good measure, some images. This background is a corn husk, and it's just very subtle in the background. That was her idea, okay? I didn't prompt her in any way. All right, get involved is not there. It doesn't have to be, because you only need three pages. At the fair, again, a different type of table with some hovers on it. Um, you know, tons of, you know, good amount of information. I don't want you just to have one or two paragraphs and call it a day. You have to get a little creative. And you can use the Portal Fall Fair website live, but I don't want you to copy their layout. Either. I don't want you to go to a page on Portal Fall Fair website and go, perfect, I'm gonna do it exactly like that. No, grab the content, grab the content of two or three pages and put them into one section and get rid of some of it and add what you feel is necessary to give it a good amount and style a position accordingly. And then the content is pretty easy. You just got to get a map in there to take up some room if you like. There's a video on how to do that. If you want to do somewhat, somewhat of a form or whatever. And again, this is one of the best examples. So for every one of these, there's about five that you know have quite a few issues. So if you can't quite attain this now, don't stress. You can still get there eventually. All right, but again, this showcases you some of the better ones. Um, Back to the home page. Now another sample. We have plenty to show you. All right, decent still. Again, a little bit different than the other one, as you can tell, but has the nav, has the logo, featured image. They decided to do circles with a little ribbon. That's their custom take on it. Um, also content here, not quite as uh, modular as the other one. Okay, but still decent amount of content. Footer here, they added a little bit of extra three columns and to show you some of the home internal pages. All right, this one's a little simplistic, okay? This one also is a little too simplistic and also models kind of what I do in my sample site, and then the events over here also. So they would have lost a little bit of marks just because they followed my lead a little too closely, and you'll notice that once I finish my website with the home page and the internals, okay? So try not to do that or else you will lose a bit, a few marks, but they did a good job overall in terms of layout. Okay, so homepage here, quite different, right? I like this. Again, really nice large image. They made it work for themselves. You don't have to do that. It's just one sample, but another example of same but different, right? Just doing it your own thing. So navigation's up top, nice little circle over top of the feature, all right? And then here, again, they have something similar to what I did, but they they did it different where they did the columns on the left and this on the right. And then they added some extra sections here, nice little wide footer, you know, so it makes up for the fact that this is a little bit similar reusing my content, but laying it out in its own way. Okay, about page, also a little too simplistic. So that would have been worth potentially a minor deduction. 
get involved. Not bad. It's kind of it has its own layout, which I appreciate. It was different than mine, but uh, and it has this, which takes up a bit of room. I still would have appreciated a little bit more content at the fair. All right, really nice clean table. I don't. They did the ambassador, so that actually I remember now it made up for it. So those pages that weren't quite where they should be, I only mark you on your top three pages. So if you do more than three, I'll mark you on your top three. But if you only do three, that's great. I'll mark you on the three that you have. So this is really involved. You can tell that it has a nice little header, main one, secondary, content, list, link, two links here. All right, another section over here. Bumps out a little bit, but again, minor issues. And then the contact section here has a map. And so it's pretty comprehensive if you look at all the pages together. And some people go above and beyond. Then, I'm hoping I'm still recording here. Screen share is on. I'm still recording. Good man. Okay. And we have, let's see, I'm looking at some questions here. Um, my comp is digital illustration is not that attractive and I wish to change the comp. Can I do that? So sorry, this was private, but I, again, I'm recording. So it is, everything's kind of out in the open. So yes, you can absolutely, uh, change it to polish it as long as you don't change it to make it look identical to one of these guys. All right. You could use these for inspiration to make it look better and then develop it. I am not going to look at your actual composite. I'm not marking your composite whatsoever. I'm only marking you on your development of your homepage and your internal pages. As long as it doesn't look identical to one of these guys, again, you'll be in good shape. Now, uh, no problem. Thanks for the question. So with this one here, uh, it, it gives you a nice example of this. So you can see that this person integrated a really nice feature image that actually goes across like this. Works really well. They did that on their own. I will show you how to do something similar to that if you like, but it's optional. Okay, so really nice clean design, different from the others. Little social icons over here. They shouldn't really be in your face anyway, so it's nice and subtle. Navigation over here, contact over here. So they made it their own. Um, here again, they blocked it out into their own modules. Great. I didn't do that. And they used the content to create their own layout and they repeated it. I love it. All right. So it's good. Nice, clean, looks professional. And then the internal, you know, what are the passes section, really nice horizontal and vertical lines, meaning that they're being mindful of the positioning of these lines here so that everything is sectioned off. Uh, I appreciate that. They added a contact section, a beautiful advertisement that looks legitimate and so on and so forth. Then get involved, perfectly placed exactly where the other header was with passes. Okay. When I get in the vault, this section anyway, and you can see that they're doing more. Uh, advertisers isn't bad because they're not meant to be, you know, you could use logos to show them, but they have quite an extensive list. So that kind of works for me too. A little bit of an odd gap here. I don't know if I would have made this a little bit different. Um, all right, so they're definitely sticking to that grid structure throughout. So definitely, you know, a unique design. And that was it. So one, two, three, and then the home page. Um, nice, nice website. Okay, another really good one. So we're looking at it here. Have the logo. You have the date, you have really big social icons. I probably would have centered those again vertically here to be in line with this text. So kind of a minor, minor issue. For specific width, um, I wouldn't make it any larger than 1100, but it can be anywhere between kind of 960 and like, you know, 1160, let's say. Um, you can push 12, but that would be about it. So anywhere from like 960, maybe to 1260, I'll say. But stay consistent. If you choose 960, keep it all the way across. If you choose 980, keep it all the way across. If you choose something like 1260, keep it all the way across. All right, so um, navigation. All right, nice little clean nav there. Featured image. All right, modular design. Okay, and footer. Another year, really, really thin. Uh, advert. I don't know if they come that thin, but again, it fits. Um, next year with some content, I would have liked to see maybe a little bit more variety in here, but again, it's still complete. Um, get involved. I also would have liked maybe to see slightly different colored content. There's a lot of orange throughout, but it's not bad. And then this doesn't really match. So I would have actually brought in a different color that looks a little bit better. 
and doing the typical kind of uh, dark blue with an underline. And the midway passes and events. So not bad. Again, lacking a little bit in terms of the content, and they would have lost some marks along the way for not beefing up some of their content there. Okay, so um, let's take a look at another one. I could do this all day. I actually have a lot of samples, but I think it's good for you guys to see it. So we might take a five minute break after I'm done the samples and then we'll come back. I think I have unlimited zoom today. Okay, so Port Hope logo and this, you can tell that the gallery contact page here uh, is a little bit off. So that would have been a minor deduction, but everything's nice and clean, matches the design, a taller uh, featured image here, which is fine. Okay, really nice and modular the way they did it. Okay, so clean greetings from the president, customized banner ad over here, really nice matching the colors, have little subtle kind of background pops for texture over here and on the other side over here. And modular, but really, really well laid out, centered, all utilizing all the colors, the browns from here, the greens. All right, nice big read more if that's what you're into and a pretty involved footer. And on top of that, they, okay, gallery doesn't work, work like a right box gallery, but you can click on the images, which is fine. Okay, so about page, again, fairly simple, but they added some extra stuff here to beef it up in terms of more content and an advert. I would encourage you to do that because if you simply just did something like this, it wouldn't quite be enough to get the full marks. All right, get involved. Another table, really nice looking, well spaced in place content. A little bit of an extra there, repeated footer and header as you'd come to expect. At the fair, a little bit left and right, different layout, still works, still centered, still in balance, well structured within the main structure. So you have these two blocks that are nicely structured and then the content inside is also nice and even. And let's see if they did any extra. Nope, all right, and then back to the home page with the link on the logo. Yet another decent sample, so going over Yet again, all right, this one's quite different, nice. So big, big bulky kind of uh, header here with the nav, but they make up for it by having kind of an overlay. So again, somebody's unique take on a navigation, that's a little different, but because they do the hover like this, it works. It's like some piano keys or something. All right, so looking down, he also did the featured image slideshow here. That was an option and did it on his own. Though I said I will show you as an option if you wanna add something like this not right required all right left and right looks pretty basic but really well done balanced and well executed added some extra modules on the bottom to make up for the simplistic nature there and a little bit more socials there to kind of uh, finish it off gallery section left and right custom advert all right gallery puts it up in the light box you can always add any elements from assignments past or other classes. If you wanna add some transitions and CSS, animations, things like that, you can. Again, not 100% required, but you can get into it and enjoy that. Really like this table, right? Really nice, clean table. I'm not sure if I gave this one to you as a sample. I think I probably did. So again, really nice styles here. A lot of room, matches the color, lime green kind of and light pink and matches, uh, again, offsuit tints and shades of these colors here. And then the get involved, really well structured top down, maybe lacking in content a little bit, but uh, again, nice highlights of bullet points, subheadings, things like that, paragraphs. On to the next one. So uh, this one was really different. I don't encourage you to kind of model it because it was so different, but I do it for visual interest and just to pique your interest a little bit. So this person decided to do a little bit more. He did a little bit of an explanation beforehand. And again, this is like that top 2% that go, oh, I really want to try something different, go above and beyond. Doesn't mean you're less than or anything like that. It just means that, you know, these guys really want to push the envelope a little bit. Maybe they have a bit more experience coming in. Doesn't mean you can't get there eventually. And, you know, that's the way to look at it. So we see it now. It's a full page. You have the logo. They actually did a drop down menu up here because, again, they were playing around with it. Not required, but they're pushing themselves a little bit, which is always great. If you don't overwhelm yourself and you can kind of hit your marks. This individual was a great student, but he also, again, sometimes took on a little too much and then wasn't able to finish in time. But for the very majority of the time, 
uh, he pushed the envelope, learned a lot, and uh, you know got a great result out of it. So a little bit different in here. He did a one page or two, as you can see, um, floating down, you know, raising right here, quick links. Some things were out of position and not you know styled appropriately, so he would have lost some marks. But again, interesting take. One of the odd ones in terms of layout when it on his own. You're not really going to copy it, I wouldn't think, but again, there just to show you. All right, another one still really kind of earthy, uh, different type of color scheme, lots of texture, you, uh, really stylized text. Um, so whether that's good or not, I'll let you decide, but certainly different and matching some of the text here in a way. Um, going down, adding some barley elements, wheat elements, circular images. All right, it's just a different kind of look, clean table. Earthy tones again for the color. Volunteer section. All right, could have used a little more info. Well structured. All right, same idea here. Would have lost just a little bit because it's a little more repetitive from the other page. And contact is, yeah, nice, clean, small map. All the relevant info. On to the next. I probably would have colored these social icons a little bit differently maybe black, like a softer color, a, a neutral color, or something that matches these guys. Um, even though you don't want to label Facebook a color that's not Facebook, but you can always do neutral tones, like offsets of black and white or gray or anything like that, if it doesn't quite, if it clashes with your other colors. Um, here's another sample, interesting take. Remember, I'm just showing you that when you see my sample site today, there's many ways to go about it. And keep it simple. Uh, not simple, but similar, but make it your own or else I will not give you the marks that you want, right? Because you don't want to copy mine straight out. It's just meant to model. So once again, have some nice elements here. Join us, unique take left and right with a little bit of added CSS from code drops or from a previous class, which you're totally able to do if you're feeling not overwhelmed and like you can put it, some extra time into it. Um, and I believe, yeah, so he even has a menu like this. Again, I'm not showing you how to do that. It's not uh, relevant right now, but it's so cool to see, and you'll learn how to do stuff like that in web design too. All right, so about page, little tractor animation. I think that's an advert maybe. All right, some simplistic paragraphs, but again, he yeah, added some extra things to it. I might not have given it so much space between the paragraphs, but it's not terrible. All right, gallery section, a bit too repetitive, but he did the light box and, uh, you know, so he makes up for it in some ways, but I still might have edged out maybe 0.5. And then another one like that, well laid out. And again, I still would have done a little bit more than that, but it's a nice job. The header and the footer obviously is retained. Those marks are awarded for your homepage. So you need to beef up your internal pages to earn the 5% per page. Another one still, I know you're probably getting bored and you may not want to watch every single one. I will be skipping to my sample site momentarily, but I'm going to continue on just for those that like to watch this. And I'm talking to the people, of course, who are going to be watching the recording later. All right, so uh, this is another really nice example. Own take, nice logo, and a bit of a nav and a bar. Featured image here, I don't think it quite works, but it's supposed to, you know, models like it would. Clean section here, their own take on kind of what I did. And then looking at the about page. All right, not bad. Again, I would have beefed it up a little bit since everything else is repeated except for this section here. At the fair contents missing, partners is missing, and contact is there. So they basically did a really simple job on the contact. They would have lost, that would have been maybe two out of five because that's all that's changed. Just caution. All right, partners is not done, at the fair is not done, and then about us. So basically they would have got maybe three out of five for this, needed to beef it up. They would have got zero out of five because one of these had to be finished and they weren't. And then they would have got, like I said, maybe about two out of five over here. So just FYI. And another one, okay, so we have the logo, nav now at the bottom, logo on the top, featured section, Thank you and recent news and celebrate. You'll see that this is different, but too much like my sample. So it's different, but it's not different enough. 
So they would have lost some marks there. And then going over here, all right, again, simple, but that's okay because they beefed it up with a photo gallery and a little bit of an advert there. So I like that. Volunteers not there. Attractions has a table with more content over here. That's what I like to see and an image. So that was good. And then, so one, two, so they're missing a page as well. So they would have gotten really good marks on those two and then lost zero out of five for missing the third internal content page. Another one still, now they have this all in the featured image. Um, then they go over here. This is a little bit too like mine too. These three guys up here is a little bit too like my recent news section. They did complement it with this, which would have earned them a little extra marks. About page. Okay, not bad. Obviously, they have quite a bit of stuff happening there. Um, get involved section again. So they're definitely heeding the call of like pumping decent amount of content and good variety. And then these other two, they didn't need to do, so they didn't. Um, we're almost at the end. All right, Port Hope. Uh, another one kind of looks kind of like medieval times to me or something like that, but maybe it's supposed to be like earthy tones and it's not bad, laid out well. So again, looking at it, you can see the colors are there, but uh, this is a little bit too much like my section, actually a lot like my section. You'll see that the greetings in the three boxes are exactly what I do. So that would have lost some marks. And then the about section, a little bit repeated. Oh, I don't know if they got these sections in actually. So that would have been an issue. Okay, continuing on still, we're almost there. Though we'll take a five minute break before we continue on with the second video recording, which is the sample site. So all in one here, nice border. They added this extra thing up there, which is a little bit unique. I didn't do that. Um, nice tall header. All right, thank you. What's helpful links? Get involved. So they changed up my way of doing it, which I like to see. Nice clean footer at the bottom. Exhibitors. Okay, a lot of content here. Gallery with some extra sponsors to beef up the simplistic kind of gallery. Events has a nice table, quite a bit with some other things going on here. You know, you're gonna get full marks if you do stuff like that. That's what I like to see. And then an extra page to round it out. Maybe an image or so could have been added, but nice work. Um, and sometimes, again, this is a nice looking website. It's not the nicest one I've seen, but they, they hit all the points they need to. So that all, it makes it, you know, hard to take off a mark, right? So you can do a good job and still get a really good mark, even though it might not be as big of a wow factor as some of the other ones, but nice texturized and, and, and fulfilling the specs. All right, another one here. And you can see that this is a little bit out of position. So that would have been deduction and... Uh, again, not bad, but the text is a little bit hard to read the way they actually organized it would have wanted a little bit more padding at the bottom of these guys. Um, you would have wanted this to be in place. So it's a little bit obviously to the side it should be in the middle. And yeah, this is just a little bit too bulky, just a copy and paste job. Um, so some of those would have lost some marks there. And that's it. All right. So that hopefully that gives you a really, really, really good idea of what you need to do. It's 12.50, I think I have unlimited time today or an hour and a half. So as if this was a real class, let's just take a break. I'm gonna stop the recording. So I'll turn this into a two, two video recording session that I'll post online. One will be set up of zip package, overview of it and review of sample sites. And the next series will be the, the video uh, tutorial on the completion of my sample site. All right, so let me turn this off here for the recording. Um, 